I'll gladly give Mr. Mouse his money. Gee, thanks. As soon as he passes a small test to prove his punctuality. Test? What kind of test? Ah, oh, how about going round the world in 80 days? Around the world in 80 days? But he'd have to catch every train. Make every ship. And never be late. Not even once. It's the perfect test. Been there, done that, smoked it, humped it, called it an Uber. The B-52s leave the runway, each loaded with enough fuel to fill three railroad tank cars. Pre-planned points along their circumnavigating route, the Stratofortresses rendezvous with KC-97 aerial tankers. Bad weather in some areas and night hookups fail to hamper refueling operations. The round-the-world route covers approximately 24,000 miles and took 45 hours and 18 minutes flying time. Flying eastward to meet the sun, the crewmen saw three abbreviated nights instead of two normal ones. As time is measured by the sun, the crews witnessed one more night than anyone else on Earth during the period. Less than two days after takeoff, the three globe-circling B-52s land at March Air Force Base, California. Their average speed, over 525 miles per hour. This flight cuts in half the round-the-world record set by the lucky lady a B-50 bomber back in 1949.